Listen, we did something silly because we have silly dreams. We bought a Subaru. Can you see him right here? No, because... Oh my gosh! Can you see it now? Look at it. Not even phased. So first of all, we wanted to give a huge welcome to Radical Firearms to the team. They've been on board with us in our FD program here and there and helped us out with some stuff and things like that. But they're going to be a really big supporter of this Subaru build. The goal is to build a recce car. And what a recce car is short for reconnaissance car to do recon in order to compete at a higher level once you get into your actual rally car. So if you watch any type of rally at all, or one of my favorite series on YouTube is uh, Launch Control by Subaru, you'll see Travis Pastrana and you'll see a couple of the other guys that are on their teams and they'll what they'll do is they'll go out and do recon first in a recce car, they'll come back in with their stage notes, and then they'll go out into their competition cars and they'll run the course full tilt. This is gonna start off life as a stock car. We want to turn into a recce car, but as you know with me, the ball tends to roll a little bit further down the hill uh, than intended. The snowball effect. Snowball effect? I have, a, I have a very big snowball effect in my life, okay? I start something because it's like, oh, this is gonna be fun. And then next thing you know, we're competing and, and it's just out of hand and we were supposed to stay within this budget and now it's like, hey, we're double the budget. And Sorry, Hannah. So, so the goal is um, to turn this into a recce car. So we're gonna be doing suspension, which this has, well, let me just kind of like show you around the car first. The car is disgusting, okay? It obviously needs a windshield. It needed a windshield way before I hit it. It's disgusting and spider cracked everywhere. I shouldn't say disgusting, it makes me sound like a prima donna. The engine bay uh, needs a lot of love. It is also disgusting. Here is a clamp that is off and there is a big boost leak right there. Um, the wastegate is wired shut, which you guys saw us do uh, when we messed around at Frankie's house. You filmed at Frankie's house? Yeah, when we went and took this thing off-roading for the first time. Oh. Was that what that was? What's up, buddy? Oh my God, slow down. This is Barry. This is Colt's brother. Ah, ah, ah. Oh God. <laughs> well, you don't want to go no more? Look at my beautiful car. One week till the motor goes. One week till the motor goes? <laughs> <laughs> Tony. I don't know, dude. I gave it like maybe down the street in the dirt. What do you say? We, we gotta get head back gasket. home, okay? Head gasket, that's what I'm head saying. Head gasket? You, you think said we head gotta gasket? get back home. We do okay. gotta get I home. I smell it already. <laughs> yeah, that's oil. That's not oil. It's running rich. That's not oil. <laughs> Dude, you don't know. I do know. Do you wanna pop it? I have an oil problem on my car. Oh, bro, you got a hose going over your ankle. Yeah, dude. Look at that thing. You got that thing smoking. Yeah, it's because this is loose. Hey, look, now it's tight. It's smoking over there. Why is that loose over there? Oh, that's because the... um. Don't worry about all that, all right? That's turbo, dude. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Internal wastegate's loose. So we may have at one point... Okay, Ken came over and he was like, yo, it's got uh, the wastegate's open. He goes, hey, your wastegate's not hooked up. And I was like, no, fool. There's an external one right there. And then he said, no, fool. The internal one's not hooked up. So we may have zip-tied it and got a bunch of boost out of it. But that's not the point. The point is, to, the, I want to show the boys... Okay, and then we want to go take it into some uh, fire roads and see what it does right now. 
<laughs> so you're saying that. bring a Jeep with you to flat tell you back. You should probably bring the Jeep with us. Dude. Look at that thing, bro. Reads up to 60 See. pounds. You know how much we threw at it? More than that. More. Gage couldn't keep up. This is it. I think the biggest problem with it, though, is that it's got ooh, shit for engine mounts. So I immediately noticed when we were doing whatever we were doing, he like fired it up or something for us with the hood open. Mm -hmm. And the motor's like. <laughs> Look at it, what does that say? Subaru. Legit, bro. It's legit if I ever seen a legit brick. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's legit. Feel, it, feel, it, feel the weight. It's like quality. Quality. Everybody knows if it's heavier, it's got better quality. That's why I keep eating. Yep. Oh. Facts. <laughs> to me. Uh. So, here's the question. Do we go drive it as is with the bad mounts? Or should we see what it takes to throw the engine mounts in and then go drive it? If it's not much, throw them in. I think you should look at the motor mounts. Look those, at them, those, huh? He's got quite a bit of wiggle. <laughs> I think they might be done. That's a lot of wiggle. All right, I'll jack the car up in the air. We'll look at it. Well, we get up in the air. I feel like I said. I feel like that's like that should be a, sl a slogan for the channel. Well, we'll skid it up in the air. Well, what are those uh, YouTube things they do? They go, it's done. It, it's already done. I didn't film any of it because it's super boring. Let's go drive. It felt like shit inside the car. <laughs> Yo, suspension just like thumping. Pretty sure these wheels are gonna be cracked at the end of this. Front, oh, look at that. Bumper's blown out. Nope, never mind, it's back. Dude. Initial thoughts. Uh, all wheel drive is gonna be a giant learning curve for me. Uh, second thought, this car needs a tune. Third thought, I need to learn how to drive because that is a whole nother animal. And I didn't even like do anything. Like I'm literally just trying to figure out how to get the car to slide. If I had a handbrake, it'd probably be a lot better. Um, but I know there's like, when you watch like all the Texas Dave videos and all that stuff, there's a ton of left foot braking that's involved. But all in all, this is gonna be a really fun series. How did it look from up there? Did it kind of look cool? That's pretty sick, it just looked a little slow. Yeah, very slow. Yeah, but it's I mean, dude, cool. look at I hit that. I hit that and I felt it. It was like boom, boom in the oh, yeah, car. Yeah. So stoked. Well, the engine mounts are already better. There's definitely something wrong with the uh, routing of the turbo stuff. Whatever, Tony, you're right. Oh, uh, I'm pumped. Pretty sick, dude. It's going to be fun. You want to take a uh, stab at it? Anybody want to? Uh, I'm all right now. Get, get, get like a Maybe it's like higher. I'm not bottoming out and everything. <laughs> I want to bust the pan. All right, sorry. Right. I mean, did it look cool? Like, did you see all four wheels? Like, was I sliding through the corner with all four wheels spinning? Yeah, I was high up there. So. Throwing, okay. throwing up a bunch of dirt. Can block who? <laughs> yeah. All right, boys, let's get out of here. Sick, bro. Oh, this car's gonna be fun. I smell the clutch. It sounds like it smells like it needs a tilting. Anyways, it's all just like this thing's just a pile of crap. If you look at it, it's a total pile of crap. I feel like I may have overspent on it buying this car. But it's an 06 Hawkeye, bro. <laughs> Something's going on with it. It's got like exhaust leaks. It's got boost leaks. It's got an oil leak that keeps destroying the driveway. Sorry. Windshield, the shocks are completely blown out on it. They All they do is just bottom out. Just do, 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 do. So we're gonna be replacing those. I've already taken it off road and like hopped back onto the pavement and totally pinched the sidewall. So we're gonna be getting some tires. We're gonna be getting some wheels. Obviously 17s aren't like, or at least they're 18s. 
Oh, those are 18s. 18s are not the wheel for rally. The brakes are decent all the way around, so that's fine. Like the, like the brakes feel fine. The clutch is at the floor, which is super annoying. So as soon as you go to lift off, it wants to go right away, um, which I don't like. I like my pedal, I like my clutch disengaging at the very top. That way if I'm, you know, I'm pushing in as I push, I'm shifting, catching a gear as I'm releasing, I'm still not, uh, I still don't have the clutch engaged. That's how all my cars are set up, except this one. This thing's gonna need a lot of love. It's got blown suspension. The back's still good, that, that sucks. Mm, nope, stop the cat. So the back's still good, um, but the front's definitely a shot. She bounces and it just bottoms out like, like the death. So I think that this thing has lowering springs on it. And if it does have lowering springs on it, shame on the person who put lowering springs on this car. It's an 06 Hawkeye, bro. It deserves better. Obviously we'll get rid of the steering wheel. It has a Cobb access port thing in there already. I just don't know how to use it yet. Um, so that kind of sucks because it's, I guess you can do a bunch of things with that. Don't know. We'll learn. Trunk is destroyed. Holes on everything. Tail lights got swapped out. Shame on you for putting these on and not leaving the original lights on it. These are ugly in my opinion. But if anybody wants them or wants to trade, I'll gladly trade you. That's pretty much it. Like it's got, supposedly it's got a legacy five speed transmission in it, which whatever. I don't know what that means exactly. Intercooler on it. It's got the HKS sequential or HKS, whatever that thing's called. I think it's a sequential. All in all, it's not a completely terrible car. No, I'm lying. It's a piece of crap. It's a total piece of crap. It needs a lot of love. It needs work like the lore. Uh, the guy said that he built it himself, so I'm gonna have to go through everything. Um, I wanna make sure everything's good. So this is easily my most favorite Subaru, the GD, uh, especially of the GD chassis. One of the reasons is my mom actually owns one of these. She owns an 06 STI. So I have like the lower version of what she has in the WRX. But I've always really liked this car. My dad really liked them. We moved to the mountains. My, my mom needed a car to get up and down the hill. My dad said, go get the Subaru, the STI. So my mom went, saw it, said it was the ugliest car she's ever seen. But then she drove it and that was it. That was history. Now she will not let that car go. I think she's been through a couple motors now. This is, she's first owner. So she's had this car since 06 and she's been through a couple of engines and she's just not letting that car die. Like she just continues to put money into it because she really, really likes it. And I can see why. I mean, they're fun cars to drive. The turbo's a good time. Don't get me wrong. All the drive's awesome. This is going to be my attempt at building a recce car. So here at the, I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to steal the restaurant down the street. This is going to be Casa Diaz. <laughs> That's what this is. So Casa Diaz, the boys here at Casa Diaz. We're going to be trying to build this car. We're going to have a couple of guests on the show. Ken's going to be around. Hugo's going to be around. Hopefully we some outside help from our buddy Texas Dave to help us dial in the car and set it up exactly on what we should do. And at the end of this, we want to film a super dope video for you guys and do something cool at like a local shooting range or something. So hopefully this uh, goes well. Hopefully you learn something. I'm definitely going to be learning a bunch of stuff and I'll just show you guys everything that I do in the process of building this car. The goal is to look something like this, uh, which is Ken Block's um, rally car. It is not the Jim Connor car. This is a different car, but I want to look like this car. That's kind of the end goal. I really fell in love with those cars. That's gonna be the goal, but I'm super excited about this. So we're gonna do some upgrades to this thing and get it going for you guys. So we hope you stay tuned and as always boys, stay safe.